my dear friends welcome back to b spice in this session we'll focus on substation automation so as usual i'm going to give this in various parts in part 1 we'll focus on the basic uh, like how substation automation works okay then uh, the subsequent session will focus on the evolution how the substation automation evolution right yeah then digital substation we'll focus on uh, the digital substation and uh, uh, subsequent uh, videos will cover the architecture of IEC 61850 and protocols and also the benefits. Uh, yeah, then we also talk about, you know, bay level, station level. And finally, we wind up with this conventional versus substation, I mean, uh, automation substation. Okay. So, yeah. So that's the agenda. But in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, the substation, how substation works to keep it simple, right? So this is all about the substation automation, friends. As you can see here, the switch gear is connected to the LCC. From there, the signal is all going to the control panel, protection panel, measurement panel, all these. Then it goes to the annunciation panels, right? Then goes to the RTU. Then from there, it goes to the NCC. This is the gist of it. Now we'll focus on each and every aspect of this component. Okay, this is the switch gear, right? So, switch gear in substation refers to the combination of electrical uh, disconnect switches, as you can see here, fuses, circuit breakers used to control, protect, isolate electrical equipment. So, what for this is needed? This is essential for ensuring the safe and reliable operation of power system. So, that's a point. Okay. So, you may ask, what is the key functions of switch gear? Right. So, Control, protection, and isolation, as simple as that. So control in the sense, control in the sense, switch gear manages the flow of electrical power by switching circuits on and off. This is what control. Then protection. It protects the, you know, electrical system from faults uh, by interrupting the flow of electricity during abnormal conditions, such as shell circuits or overloads. So that is the protection. Then isolation. It isolates the section of the electrical network for maintenance or in case of fault, ensuring safety for personnel and equipment. So that's all, friends. Huh? Switch care, control, protection, and isolation. Then when we talk about the components, you basically will have a circuit breaker, disconnect switch, fuses, and protective relays. That's it. Okay. Then comes the LCC. Okay. What is the LCC? LCC means local control cabinet. So LCC is crucial component, especially in gas insulated switch gear system. We call it as a GIS, uh, GIS, okay? Okay, so it is typically installed at each bay location to the house, the wiring of the GSA, GIS bay circuits and connect them to the substation control room, okay? So this is uh, 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 about LCC. So you may ask, what is the function of this LCC? Yeah, again, local control, okay? So it provides a control over the operation of the GIS, including the switching and monitoring function, okay? Then mimic diagram. Uh, displays a visual, visual representation of the substation layout, helping operators to understand the correct, uh, current status of the system. Then, of course, it has a switches and indicators, uh, you know, uh, an annunciator interlock to manage and monitor the substation equipment. Okay. So, this is about the LCC. Basically, friends, the LCC ensures that operators can control and monitor the substation equipment locally, as simple as that, friends. That's it. Okay. Then we have a various panel, actually. You see here. I told right, this all the this from the, the signals all going to this control panel, protection panel, and measurement panel parallelly actually. Okay. So here control panel. The control panel is responsible for switching control, monitoring, automation, and annunciation. See, control panel responsible for switching means it manages the operation of the circuit breaker, transformer, and other equipment. Okay. Then monitoring in the sense, it provides real-time data on the status of various substation components, 
then automation in the sense it implementing the automated process to enhance the operational efficiency. And of course, annunciation means alerting the operators to abnormal conditions of falls. This is about the control panel. Okay, then we have a protection panel. The protection panel mainly includes the functionalities include fault detection. Okay, so fault detection in the sense it identifies the issues such as overload, you know, short circuit and phase imbalances. Then it also isolation, helps in isolation. So isolation means tripping the circuit breaker to isolate the faulty section and prevent damage. Then protection scheme. So protection scheme means um, it implements uh, various protection schemes like the differential protection, overcurrent protection, earth fault protection, all these. Then we have a measurement panel. See, the measurement panel is used for data collection. Okay, so data collection in the sense uh, key parameters, you know, such as voltage, current, power, frequency, all will be collected there. And of course, monitoring, provide accurate and reliable data to operators for effective decision making. And last but not the least, the energy management. It helps in analysis of the optimization of energy usage within the substation. Okay. So this is about your, what do you call, control panel, protection panel, and measurement panel. Okay. Then here, you have this annunciator panel, marshalling panel, and event record panel, okay? So what is this annunciator panel? As you know, annunciator panel is a critical component in a substation, right there. So used for alarm indication and status monitoring, okay? So it is designed to visually alert operators uh, to abnormal condition, false or operational issues in real time, okay? Thereby helping, uh, quick detection and response to the potential problem, right? Then we have a marshalling panel. So marshalling panel is a critical component used in electrical substation on power plant. This is for centralizing and managing the control wiring between various field instrument and control system. So basically it acts as an interface between the field devices, that is sensors, relays, circuit breakers, and the central control or protection system, okay? So that's the marshalling, right? So the event record panel. The event record panel, uh, yes, is an essential component in substation. This is used to display the uh, store and manage the event records, okay? Generated by the protection relay, circuit breaker, and other monitoring devices. So it serves as a centralized interface that allows the operators to quickly access the event logs view historical events and analyze the sequence, all these actual events. Huh? So this is the complete flow. Then it goes to the RTU panel. And of course, we have uh, dealt this RTU in uh, detail, actually, in the last, uh, I mean, a few uh, session also. But for the sake of first timers, I'll explain one more time. Basically, RTU panel is nothing but a remote terminal unit panel. So it is an integral component in electrical substation, okay, power plants and other industrial automation system. So it basically provides a physical interface for connecting field devices to the remote terminal uh, unit. Hmm? Okay, that's all friends. Okay. Then it goes to the NCC. Okay? Finally, finally it goes to NCC. What is this NCC? The NCC means a network uh, control center. So the NCC is a centralized facility responsible for monitoring, controlling, and managing the operations. Okay, good to go, yes. So what are all the key functions? See, basically, we talk uh, about monitoring, right? So centralized monitoring. Centralized monitoring means it provides a comprehensive view of the entire power network, allowing operators to monitor the status and performance of all connected substation. Then it also controls the operation. In, it enables actually remote control of substation equipment, such as circuit breaker, transformers, to ensure efficient and reliable power distribution. Then data analysis, it collects uh, and analyzes the data from various substations to optimize performance, detect faults, and implement preventive maintenance. And of course, coordination. Coordination in the sense, coordination between different substations. Hmm? So in a nutshell, this NCC plays a crucial role in ensuring the smooth and efficient operation of the power grid, okay, by providing centralized control and monitoring facility. So this is how the whole substation sequence works, friends. Huh? This slide is to give you a gist about the substation because we from instrumentation background, right, 
we may not uh, have you know involved in the substation related automation works and of course many uh, uh, few uh, many people are also you know uh, uh, especially focusing on this but uh, for the benefit of everybody like uh, electrical engineers and automation engineers i thought of you know producing this video so again this is uh, will give an overall idea actually uh, i hope uh, you understand the overall concepts like uh, right from the switchgear to the ncc okay now i will also touch upon a bit on this see what system need from switchgear meaning yeah this is a switchgear right so what our system uh, needs this from switchgear yes so we need the current signal from cts that is uh, and also the VTs, right? Current signal from CTs, voltage signal from VTs, and status from parts of the switch gear. So this all the signal we need from the switch gear, right? So this one from the switch gear, we need all this signal. Then what switch gear need from the system? Yeah, see what switch gear need from the system. So basically, command signal to operate the switch gear on all alarms. This is what I want to give you a just you know uh, upgrade means um, outline actually okay now we go into the lcc again even though i explained here this is with the help of you know separate diagram see lcc refers to a, a local control cabinet it's, it refers to an enclosure okay or a control panel located within the substation okay that provides local and monitoring capabilities for various electrical equipment and system so LCCs are used to allow the operators or maintenance personnel to interact with and control the substation devices without the need for a remote access from a central control. So that is the point. Okay, good to go. Right. Then how the signal, signal is distributed. Okay, as I highlighted earlier, so this is how actually, you know, the signal is distributed to all panels in parallel. See, basically, this control panel, protection panel, measurement panel, which we have already seen. Eh? What is the functionality is everything, right? You want me to repeat? I will repeat. So, basically, control panel, right? So, in control panel, what we, what we are doing, actually, in control panel, this is uh, responsible for switching, you know, control, monitoring, automation, and annunciation, right? Then we have a protection panel. This is mainly for uh, what you call uh, fault detection, okay? Such as, you know, overloads, uh, short circuit, all these. And of course, for isolation, okay? Then measurement panel is more of a data collection, okay? Right. Then all these system status is getting displayed here, actually. Annunciator panel, marshalling panel, and what? Event record panel. So this is how the uh, signal is getting distributed and the status is uh, displayed. Okay, right. Then we'll talk about the NCC. No? In fact, I already covered, but yeah, again, signals. So basically, the signals, uh, you know, coming here from here, this goes to the telecom, right? Then after that, it leads to the NCC. Hmm? NCC, okay. So NCC, again, is a network control center or network coordination. Huh? Uh, center, centralized facility or control room, uh, you know, that plays a crucial, a critical role in monitoring, control and coordination of the activities within the network or substations. Mm -hmm. So that is about the NCC. Okay. Right, friends. So what else? Yeah. So this is the complete uh, flow. Mm -hmm. Switch care, LCC, then you have protection and control and metering panel. From there, it goes to the comp panels, yeah, okay. Then it goes to the workstation, and all these uh, are in line with the IEC 61850, okay. I'm also going to talk about this in the subsequent session in detail. And yeah, thank you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. In the next video, we'll talk about... One moment. In the next video, we'll focus on uh, part two and wherein we talk about the uh, uh, substation automation evolution and the digital substation okay friends take care stay tuned bye bye